people, so kind of missing that. Um, we are, uh, people know Nokia, you know, Nokia is a big, uh, you know, 5G, LTE, 4G service provider, but we're also a very large infrastructure uh, provider. And we, you know, we're using our, our microwave radio and our routers uh, provi provide the, the bulk of uh, a lot of mission critical networks in, in many states and in many uh, public sa safety networks, as well as AT&T and Verizon. You know, when we joined Nokia a couple of years ago, you know, they, you know, Nokia actually has a, a big, bigger picture plan where, you know, they're looking at, you know, they're part of the open RAN network. So if you didn't know what, what that means, that, that means that, you know, you're trying to create uh, products that have flexible and standard based interfaces so that you can operate better in a multi vendor environment. So, you know, from a product perspective, you know, all the products are looking at how they fit into this complete end to end solution. And as you guys know, who, uh, who build your IT infrastructures, you know, the, the, the middle is just as important as the edges uh, of your network as far as performance and feature functionality uh, and being able to provide the best uh, solution that you can. And in public safety, we know that, you know, every second counts and, and you really can't be down forever. So, you know, in that, you know, uh, we look at our product development and what it, what it takes to get us in, to be a, a part of that big end-to-end -end picture. Um, I have a couple of videos on here because I don't really want everybody, you know, sitting here listening to me talk. But um, I will, uh, I'll, I'll share those and uh, please uh, use the chat window and, and ask questions if you have them. And I'm going to share my videos now, so bear with me. Networks face unprecedented change at breakneck speed. The demands of 5G and customer expectations continue to reshape networks. With a thousand-fold increase in traffic, the speed, latency, capacity and diversity requirements mean it's critical to evolve transport capabilities. That's why Nokia has created Microwave AnyHall, part of a comprehensive, fully programmable transport solution. Here's how Microwave AnyHall addresses the challenges ahead. Traffic growth is exponential. Your network must be ready to deliver demanding new services in the most efficient way. Plus, you still need to support existing transport technologies. Traffic diversity can be a headache. Legacy networks will struggle to cope with diverse traffic SLAs, from reliability to ultra-low latency and extreme connection density. Transport investment must be wise. To scale transport, it's vital to keep control of costs when you reduce OPEX, simplify transport architecture, and make efficient use of tower space. These challenges can be difficult to control without optimizing radio links and packet networking at the transport layer. This is an essential building block to enable further innovations. First, seeing the big picture an end-to-end -end all IP environment across RAN, core and application and content domains provides full transparency. Getting your network ready for new services begins with transport. Software-defined networking for microwave elements makes it easier to launch new services. Transport needs to enable cloud interconnectivity while providing a foundation for network slicing and other future network innovations and network evolution is a chance to consolidate and simplify. Microwave complements other transport technologies, and with any hall, you can unite these into a single network. The fact is, transport is fundamental to delivering new services, and Microwave is central to this, as more than 50% of today's global cell sites are connected via microwave access. So, Microwave AnyHall is critical to enable seamless migration with its ability to support voice and data services, now and in the future. Microwave AnyHall helps you go further, faster. So when you're ready to scale, you can deploy high-speed transport networks over long distances. Ultimately, Microwave AnyHall can help you monetize your network. It supports network slicing and carrier SDN, vital steps toward generating new revenues. In a fast-changing world, where 5G is rapidly becoming a reality, mobile transport is a top priority.
And I have a I have a quick slide uh, presentation for you, and here we go. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Nokia virtual booth in support of the Northern California APCO 2020. I'm John Gilbert from the Nokia Microwave Business Development Team, and today I'll be discussing our Next Gen 911 solution and how it applies to your applications. I hope everyone is staying safe during this pandemic, but what a perfect time to look at your network to see if it's meeting all your current needs. So let's talk about your network. I realize that many of you have already built existing MPLS networks to handle your voice circuits, but we'll be able to handle the things that you need in, say, 10 years. If you look at the inter Internet of Things, it's bringing drones, uh, remote cameras, and biometrics into your network to increase security. Will the network that you have in place today be able to support those needs? Are you buying lease lines for those services? Does a vendor that you currently have in place have the, equip the right equipment to bring you into tomorrow? Nokia is one of the few companies that can provide a complete MPLS solution. With our continuous innovation from Bell Labs and our strong in-house R&D, we can provide much more than your typical point-to-point -point network. Our industry-leading packet radio, along with our gold standard router, provides the base for the mission-critical network solution provided by Nokia. And for those of you looking to implement a 5G or LTE solution, it's just another service for this full packet radio solution. So let's take a look at a typical use case and how the network solution from Nokia is applied. Now here's a problem that you in Northern California are far too familiar with as of late. Your mission critical network, the connectivity is paramount when lives are at stake. You have a fire that's taken out one link in your network. Uh, excavation crew or people fighting that fire have accidentally taken out a second link or maybe another fire is getting ready to take down another link. Can your network find a new path for that traffic or service in milliseconds? Are you prepared for this type of disaster? Well, let's take a look at the Nokia solution. The Nokia equipment solution that would be deployed to meet the needs for this type of failure include our microwave packet radio that was specifically built for the mission critical environment. A fully redundant shelf that's capable of carrying one plus one hot standby and multi-channel configurations. Each transceiver also supports the capability to support adaptive modulation on single-channel and multi-channel configurations in the shelf. And it can also be integrated with our 7705 IPMPLS routing solution. The Nokia router high availability feature provides for in-service in upgrades and airless switching of the control plane. And the fast fault detection and fast reroute features ensure mission critical resiliency when lives are at stake. The Nokia Packet Microwave with our unified IPMPLS router provides best in class resiliency. It also provides full module redundancy at each site and full path redundancy between sites. This will provide the overall best solution for your packet backhaul needs. Now let's take a look at the Microwave Packet solution as well as the 7705 routing solution. Here's a quick overview of the Nokia Wavens microwave packet radio platform. Our, along the top here is our networking units that we use for our layer two switch solutions. On the far right is the MSS-8, which we typically use in, in many mission critical networks. Fully redundant control cards in the top two slots and six user configurable slots that can be used to configure for ethernet and TDM traffic, as well as any of our radio interfaces. In the middle here is our UBT, our ultra broadband transceiver, our outdoor radio solution. The UBTM is our 80 gig millimeter wave solution, up to 10 gig of throughput on a single channel, 20 gig if you use the built-in XPIC configuration. On the right here is the two uh, license frequencies supporting outdoor radios. A single channel and a dual channel version is available. Uh, all, both of these two support up to 4096 QAM and 100 meg, meg channels. High capacity and low latency was what they de designed to support. Down here on the bottom is our small cell backhaul solution, a UBTM Urban, which is our 80 gig millimeter wave solution with an integrated antenna for small cell backhaul and last mile support supporting configurations. In the middle down here on the bottom is our full IPMPLS solution for where layer three 
uh, solutions are required. Fully integrated with our microwave radio, the routers can provide the full IP and PLS solution that you're looking for for your mission critical network. On the right here is our long haul solution with our indoor MPTHLC radio, as well as our outdoor radio using the OMT coupler. And here's a quick look at our 7705 service aggregation router product family. On the far left here is a 7705 SAR8 and SAR18, which are typically used in our mission critical network solutions for the routing platform when layer three IP and PLS is required. The 7705 has many different product options that are determined based upon your port need or your protection need for the, each individual site. And we also have solutions if you're trying to implement your own uh, LTE solution using your IP and PLS network. Uh, the 7705 and the Wavens product are part of our FirstNet solution for the AT&T backhaul network um, and used widely in, in all the mission critical networks around the world. And the 7705 also includes a full outdoor solution that can be integrated into your overall 7705 IP and PLS network. And finally, to bring the Nokia end-to-end -end mission critical network solution together, we have the Nokia Global Network Manager, the NSP, our network service platform. The Nokia NSP provides a complete end-to-end -end management solution and can even manage some of your third-party devices. Our new analytics and alarm correlation provides a peace of mind that you've never had before. Our global network manager, along with our best-in-class microwave packet radio and gold standard IP and PLS router solution, can meet your mission-critical network needs for today and even for the future. I'd like to thank you for visiting the Nokia virtual booth today. Stay safe and please contact Mike or David if you have any questions with our product offering or request assistance with any of your future needs. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, I actually have another uh, video. Um, this, uh, this last year, uh, the microwave community is pretty small out there. And uh, this last year, we lost a, a great guy that was part of our product management. Uh, but the video that he prepared actually talks about our latest uh, transceiver. Uh, so I'd like to play that video now and still a relevant topic. There are situations where losing connection is just not an option. Companies whose business processes and employee safety rely on communication networks require the highest level of reliability. For many mission and business critical services, deploying microwave links remains the most straightforward solution for providing a reliable, high capacity connectivity when fiber is not available. The Nokia Wavens product family is the world leading full packet microwave solution supporting all services from today's voice centric services using TDM circuit emulation to Ethernet based data traffic. The Nokia Wavens MPT HLC Plus is the latest evolution of our microwave long haul solution for the North American market. With its unmatched system gain, it allows for longer links, better reliability, and significant capex and opex savings. The new MPT HLC Plus RF transceivers deliver unmatched system gain through the combination of higher transmit power and industry leading receiver thresholds. And high system gain is of vital importance to both mission critical and business critical networks. High system gain can provide higher path availability, which is particularly important in areas that are prone to adverse propagation effects, such as fading. It also can allow longer paths to be implemented while maintaining the path availability objectives, which could potentially eliminate the need for a repeater site, saving hundreds of thousands of dollars. High system gain allows the use of smaller antennas, which reduces the total cost of ownership. Smaller antennas are less expensive to purchase, which reduces capex costs. They have less tower loading and wind resistance, which means lighter weight towers can be used, or older existing towers could be used without requiring expensive upgrades. Our customers require highly reliable yet cost-effective microwave links to cover long distances, and the MPT HLC Plus transceivers were designed specifically to meet that need. So, so I thought that was a pretty relevant topic for uh, what we were talking about today. Um, and like I said, uh, shout out to Jim for that. Uh, one last subject I'd like to talk about, and you know, we've 
uh, we've talked uh, a lot about these interference from the, the Wi-Fi devices. And, uh, you know, we understand that's a big topic uh, across the whole microwave uh, community. Uh, yeah, lower six, uh, you know, while we think that, you know, the impact isn't going to be all that great, um, we we'll, we still are providing some tools. And matter of fact, we've had a tool uh, that, is, that was available to use with our, our current uh, transceivers out there. It's called the Wavens Spectrum Analyzer Tool. So this is a, a tool that you load on your PC and it actually uses the MPT HLC or our UBT transceiver to sweep the band to look for interference cases. Uh, so this is a standalone tool and available uh, from, from uh, the sales team. So if you have some concerns, you like to baseline your network when you're doing installations, or even if you wanna try and uh, you know, analyze a path uh, with, with our spectrum analyzer tool, then you know, please reach out uh, to sales and get more information on it. What does it do for you? Um, it, it's, it's very user-friendly. Um, it allows you to select the different uh, uh, radios that are connected to your MSS shelf or even some of the standalone uh, radios and, and do a sweep. Um, you, you select the, the range and the number of samples that you do. It prints out a report and the report will show you, you know, your, your current spectrum It'll show you the, you know, the interfering tones at, if they're available. Um, hopefully, you don't see anything, but uh, and typically, you uh, you turn off your your far end transmitter as part of the uh, the testing with the spectrum analyzer tool. Uh, but it, this is available, and like I said, please reach out uh, to sales if you have uh, any more questions or you'd like to get a copy of this tool. I like to kind of finish up, and you can ask any questions. You know, the, the, the people behind the scenes, um, you know, one of my colleagues actually used this slide during one of the presentations and, and you know, the people behind the scenes that are running the, uh, the network that's supporting all the, the guys who pick up the radios and expect them to work. You know, the, the things that are going on behind the scenes are, is really truly chaos. Uh, and to be able to handle that, you have to have a, a great infrastructure. Uh, the Nokia IPMPLS, uh, full IPMPLS solution with our routers is a great infrastructure for meeting all those need and juggling all the balls that are going on behind the scenes. Uh, so if you haven't jumped over to the MPLS train, uh, you need to look into it to see if it meets all your needs. Um, I'll open it up for questions and stop talking. Uh, but it, again, uh, here's the contact for David and Mike, uh, your two sales representatives in the, in the California area. Uh, thanks again for letting me talk to you. Thank you very much, John. That concludes the presentation from Nokia. Please reach out to him if you have any additional questions. Uh, so with that, we'll, uh, we'll stop the Nokia presentation and we can pick up with the Motorola presentation.